What is something you did when you were younger that you are still facing the consequences of? I was taken from my mom at age 10 and put into foster care. After a while social services found my dad, who left right after I was born and who I had never met. Eventually I was asked who I wanted to live with, my dad or my mom. I said my dad, because I had always wanted one and being torn from my mom basically severed our bond through trauma. It turns out he and my stepmom were abusers and I was abused for 6 years before I ran away. Still haunts me to think who I would have been had I chosen my mom. Now I'm estranged from them all. This isn't your fault. Your dad and his wife are terrible people. I had a bad habit of biting my nails and not washing my hands when I was about 10 years old. I got pinworms twice and to this day whenever my butt itches I have a moment of panic. I was working 40 hours a week while still in high school. After 6 months of non-stop work, I fell asleep behind the wheel and I lost my leg. Flew off a water slide while goofing off. Landed on concrete. Left hip still hurts to sleep on 20ish years later. It took at least 10 years before I told my mom what happened. I sprained my ankle on a treadmill when I was 13 and I was too stubborn to let it heal properly. So now, nearly 15 years later, I can't walk until like 10 in the morning a couple times a month because my ankle is still a wee bit fricked. I started working on a farm when I was 16. Worked there for nearly 10 years. The way we sort of crouched over to pick herbs for 6 to 12 hours a day fricked up my spine. I have trouble standing for more than 10 minutes now. I also now understand why my grandmother, who worked on farms for more than 50 years pops painkillers like candy. Smoking. It's difficult to quit smoking, but definitely not impossible. I smoked for over 10 years and then quit after I made a personal plan overview, which positives things does smoking provide and which negative, and then I planned a day to quit. Smoked as much as I could before that day but ever since I haven't smoked a single cigarette. That day was 7 years ago. You can do it too. Good luck. I listen to music way too freaking loudly. I'm 37 and I absolutely need hearing aids. I'm not deaf. But if there is even slight background noise, everything sounds incredibly muffled. Sometimes I have to ask people to repeat themselves 3-4 times. I have the same problem. Sort of. I think mine is just my brain focusing on the wrong sounds occasionally. Not making it a point to work on my social skills. I was a bit of a loner in school, really shy. Now I struggle to make conversation with co-workers without feeling immense levels of anxiety. Worry that without this skill I'll never really get ahead. Don't worry, social anxiety is something that can be beat. You just have to keep trying and not beat yourself up when you mess up. Success in work and life is nothing but a construct of the mind. As easy as it is to fall into this mindset of needing to be successful as early as possible, it's not a race. Everyone's circumstances are different. I had a treehouse that was about 10 feet off the ground and I would regularly jump out of it. Being an idiot, I wouldn't brace myself when I landed because I thought I looked cooler doing it that way. Just straight up land on my feet without so much as bending my knees. Well guess who's got crap knees before they've hit 30. Let others opinion matter over my own. It created havoc with my self esteem and created anxiety. Whatever I achieved it seemed it was because I was lucky. Now I don't know who I am and what I could have been. Overeat and eat poorly. Please 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 teach and demonstrate nutrition and exercise to your kids. It is so freaking hard to defeat a lifetime of bad habits when you're in your adulthood and already feeling the effects of ill health from years of bad eating habits. And no I don't just mean force them to eat their veggies and thus just create a totally negative relationship with healthy food. You have to find ways to make their importance clear and introduce new ways of eating healthy. Don't just feed a kid whatever they want whenever they want. I see that so much and the end result is not good. Overspending. Got a credit card as soon as I turned 18. It had a limit of £5,000 and I was not financially responsible. Cut a long story short, more credit cards, horrible cycle of debt, had to dig myself out of it, I got out of debt at 32, lived paycheck to paycheck for a while, I'm 37 now and this year is first year of my life I have savings, if anyone out there has crippling debt, don't feel hopeless, 
There's always a way out, even if it takes years, you can do it. This is where I am at the moment, it's good to hear there's hope. I've actually ended up getting my dad to lock my credit card in his safe so I can't access it. Gave my legs for a stranger's life during a 16 car pile up. 8 years and 17 surgeries later, I can kinda walk again. My life is in complete shambles. I've gained a hundred pounds, and I lost my career. A really freaking good one. I couldn't stop lying about things I had done because I was so worried people would lose interest in me if I didn't seem super interesting, until I lost track of my lies and couldn't stop. I ended up burning bridges with a lot of awesome people that I may have been great friends with, who we shared so many commonalities, awesome personalities, people I genuinely liked. I literally have no friends now and have trouble even being able to hold conversations with anyone anymore. I did it to myself. And I regret it so much that I have dreams about things turning out differently all the time. It sucks. And if I could go back in time, I'd grab younger me's tongue immediately and tell me people liked me and wanted to be my friend. Even if I felt like I was boring or not pretty enough. I'm glad I said this. Finally, I had to say it somewhere. It's been driving me crazy. When it finally hit me how deep and insane it had gone. I can relate. It's like... Sometimes I cannot really control when I lie, it just comes out of my mouth before I can stop it. I desperately want to change. I don't like lying but I become the very own thing I despise. Had a drug problem. Got clean at 21, roughly 10 years ago. Looking to get a government engineering job but the government has different ideas on it. It seems unlikely I will be able to get a security clearance. I don't want to complain though because I know plenty of other people who still have their drug problems. I know I'm just lucky to have been able to get on with my life. Anyway kids, I suggest going to therapy instead of doing drugs. I went to therapy instead of doing drugs. They diagnosed me with a whole twitter bio worth of mental illness, which ended my career, military, and prevents me from holding a security clearance, so I can't do what I used to do, on active duty for the civilian side, but at least now that I'm unemployed and marked a lunatic, I can go do all those drugs. From age 16 to age 23 or so I was on the depo provera shot for birth control. None of my doctors ever brought up that I should only be on it for a few years at a time because of some side effects like bone loss. I have broken bones, in shockingly dumb ways, that are then leading to what I suspect will be lifelong issues. I had surgery on my wrist after fracturing it in late 2019 and experience pretty frequent pain when I move my wrist or hand just slightly wrong. I suppose this is something I technically didn't do but I never picked a career path. So now I've got a CV the length of my arm from various jobs and education that span over 3 countries, 18 years and with little to no recent experience. Due to taking care of my son and helping my ex hal helping my ex hal helping my ex hal helping my ex I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. After finishing college, I stopped playing sports. I've always been a bit on the stockier side, but through high school and college I was very active in several team sports. Soccer, volleyball, floor hockey, so I had a lot of muscle on me too. I didn't do any kind of exercise, beyond just moving around for work and walking my dog twice a day. For 12 long years, I grew fat, unhealthy, and in poor shape. I've been trying to work on that, but even when I could go to the gym I would be exhausted after 30 minutes of light exercise. I have hopes that I can at least be healthy, as I work to build up my endurance and tolerance for longer workouts, but I doubt I'll ever be in the shape I was when I was in my teens early 20s, and it's entirely my fault too. I got lazy and I'll be paying for it for the rest of my life. I become super unhealthy after a broken leg turned into 3 years of not moving from my bed. One step at a time, I've come to terms with never being able to go 100% but I am still shooting for that 99% use. It like a day without my foot creaking like rice crispy cereal in milk. I got into the car of a couple that saw me walking home from school and offered me a ride home. Instead of driving me home they took me to their house where they beat me for putting up a fight when they were about to assault me, and raped me. I'm still struggling alone mentally and don't trust anybody. 
I was sexually assaulted as a child and living with PTSD for just about 20 years before I started the process of healing. It is not too late. The world is catching up to the complexities of trauma. I'd be glad to share some very modest guidance with you if you'd welcome that. If so you can DM me. The nervous system can learn and unlearn. Gave up on everything when I was in college. Stopped going to school. Slacked at work. Did nothing in my free time. I was living a day at a time with no plans for the future because I had no hope that life would get better. Now I'm here looking back at how things could have been different if I had a different mindset back then. These days I'm doing my best to do the things I should have done then so the next time I reflect on the past 10 years I can feel pride instead of shame. When my parents separated while I was in high school, I moved out. I was 14, my sister was 15, and my brother was 12. Drugs, fighting, etc. I couldn't handle it anymore, but my siblings never moved out. A few years later, mum's back, everyone's at home, it's a happy family with no room for me. This sounds more like you're facing the consequences of your parents' actions. No way should a 14 year old feel the need to move out of their home to find a peaceful living situation. Sending you a hug. Make good friend choices and make them your family. Spent way too much time alone as a kid playing video games instead of socializing with friends. My social skills were stunted for many years, which made things much harder than they needed to be. Felt kinda like a cycle for me no one wanted to hang out with me. So I'd spend all my time watching movies instead, which made my social skills worse, which made people not want to hang out with me. Ruining my credit. I got a bunch of credit cards when I was 18. I just turned 46 and I'm still reaping the consequences of those bad decisions. I never studied. I didn't need to from elementary to high school. It was pretty easy for me. So I never studied. Now, I'm in college, and I am facing the consequences of that. I have no idea how to study effectively, and it's reflecting in my test scores. Unprotected sex. Three of the little suckers. God I love them. But I advise everyone, never have more children than you have eyes. Not addressing my eating disorder, Pika, ruined my teeth and had to get veneers and crowns to cover my broken teeth. It makes me upset that I can't bite into anything with my front teeth. At least, now I don't have an iron or calcium deficiency. Self-isolation through middle and high school. Now I'm just very naturally closed off and hard to get along with in general so I basically have no friends. Gonna go on campus for the first time in the fall so hopefully I can build some social skills by then. Art college. TL. DR. Don't. You only need two things for a successful career in games development. A color portfolio and networking contacts. Both can be developed online. No development company gives a crap what your education background looks like if you can match their production style. I'm with you. Art college is a completely worthless waste of time. Nobody has ever, ever asked to see my illustration degree. And I didn't do anything as a professional artist that I couldn't have done perfectly well without it. It's a gigantic waste of time and money. Being super picky as a kid and still having to break the habit of avoiding certain foods because I don't like them but honestly haven't even tried them. Keep at it. I know a 40 plus year old who has been a lifelong picky eater and it's honestly sad. Just burgers and fries. Pizzas and crisps. No rice. No pasta. No pies. Might be something in it he doesn't like. Got into a bad situation with cuff finance and credit card debt. Was in an unhealthy relationship and it manifested through spending. Luckily one of my family members bailed me out and allowed me to pay them back. Saving me thousands in interest and several years of my life back. I'm with someone really great now. Who has helped me budget and I'm doing much better. Will be debt free by September. Total debt was $39k. Shout out to our person at finance for all the great tips. I feel like a better question would be what am I not suffering the consequences of at this point. It's not a list. It's a frickin dictionary. My parents raised me to be a Jehovah's Witness. I got baptized into the religion when I was 13. When I was 26 I realized I didn't believe in the religion anymore and left. Now my entire family including my parents, 
sister and former social circle from the religion shun me. I also broke my left pinky playing basketball in 8th grade. I never did anything about getting it fixed, but I also kept playing basketball and kept damaging it over and over. Now I have dexterity issues with it. Wanna be guitar player. Really hard to make those stretches with a pinky that only works one stroke to the time. Going to a very expensive out of state college just to spite my parents and get away from them. My dad was offering me a $40 an hour part time job, and a place to live for free to pay for my college. Instead I said, you don't want me to live my life the way I want to, then frick off. I went to a college 2000 miles away and took out a $140,000 student loan. Bruh. Accidentally touching a girl's bum when I was 16. Her boyfriend decided to headbutt me for it, leading to breaking my nose. I am 36 now and I'm still suffering on a daily basis of the messed up pipe work up there. My nose holes are closed up still. That's probably not the right word. You're looking for nostrils. Dislocated both kneecaps 10 months apart. Knees will pop out and in every now and then which hurts like a son of a bitch h. Starved myself since I was about 12 because I wanted to be super thin, which absolutely destroyed my metabolism. Ironic. Oh here it is, me. Had an eating disorder at 14 that flipped from anorexia into binge eating and at 24 I'm still trying to fix the binging. Didn't keep up exercise. I was so fit in my youth and let it slip. I rode on that young fitness throughout my 20s and even 30s. But in 40s it really comes out. Stay fit. Oh dang. For some stupid reason I used to see how long I could stare into the sun when I was a kid. I've been basically blind without contacts glasses for over 15 years. So much money spent just to be able to see normally. All because I was such an idiot kid xd. My parents were never really that involved from ages 8 and up so I resorted to hours of being on the computer as a kid. Now as an adult I find myself just sitting on my phone every day all day. My parents limited my computer time and I'm still internet addicted at 35. I was coerced into sexual activity in the summer between 2nd and 3rd grade. I'm still suffering from the trauma. I said no twice, but in the end I did it. I'm still dealing with the aftermath. Many years later. I did graffiti on a wall when I was 19 and now I have a criminal conviction that I have to list when I go overseas. It's embarrassing. Not taking choosing a college major seriously. I started college in 2012 and changed my major 5 times. I get so mad when I think about how much better my life would be right now if I'd picked the right major from the start and graduated on time. I got suspended for what had to be like the 4th time that school year and my dad took everything away from me, even my name. For a month I couldn't have anything in my room but my book bag and my bed and that I wouldn't be brandy I would be can't get right. I'm 37 years old and they are still calling me can't get right. That's fricked. I kissed my best friend. There had always been something simmering between us. It was the last month of our senior year in high school, and the stars aligned. But the girl I had dated through high school had decided we needed a break. My friend and I were out with a group of our friends, and things just clicked. We kissed, and it was very much a mutual thing. A couple decades down the road, and I still think of that moment as one of the few perfect moments that you get in life. Note before moving forward, I never got in any legal trouble from what came next. The next day, a buddy of mine came and told me that best friend was telling everyone who would listen that I raped her. Have you ever felt your heart hit the sole of your shoes? I have. By the end of the month, the court of public opinion had ruled. No one in the school would speak to me. Friends I'd had since kindergarten wouldn't look at me. I was questioned by the school resource officer and the principal of the group that we were out with that night. Some of them had to have spoke up for me, but none of them would have anything to do with me. My entire support group was yanked out from under me. I left high school depressed and overly cautious about every social interaction as a result. The ex-girlfriend and I mended fences and ended up back together. That should never have happened, but I was alone in a new city, depressed as heck, 
and she was the life preserver that Bob did to view. Six months later, she was hit with life changing health issues. I stuck it out, right up until she left me for someone else. That kicked me into a tailspin of depression, drugs, and alcohol. I failed out of college, moved back home, and found a crappy job. I met a woman shortly after moving home, we really hit it off, and we ended up married within a few months. I was grabbing at anything to keep afloat, and she was there. Bad mistake, she was severely mentally ill, but it didn't show until a year after we were married. I was raised to stand by your choices, so I stood. More life changing health issues occurred. Fast forward, approaching my 40s, and I'm stuck in a loveless marriage with a dependent, mentally ill, housebound wife. I live near my hometown, and still see people regularly who will turn their head and actively avoid me because of what happened. I have issues forming close relationships, and as such, only have acquaintances, not really friends. I will never have children, and I very likely will never be able to retire. If you stuck it out this far, thanks. Understand, I do take responsibility for every choice and action that I took to arrive here. I don't blame best friend for my life. This is on me. However, I can point at that kiss and the fallout from it as the point that my life turned down this route. Even now, I wouldn't change it. That was the last moment I was truly happy. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.